Berserk A dark fantasy series The story goes in the medieval dark age with a man known as the Black Swordsman wearing black armors wielding a gigantic soul slaying countless of monsters and titanic beasts Some of these monsters known as apostles. Apostles are supernatural inhuman creatures. However, they used to be humans once, until they used the billet and sacrificed their most important and beloved ones for their own reasons and power. Here are the top 5 best apostles of Berserk. Number 5. Ganishka. Emperor Ganishka is the head of the Kosha nation. He is one of the most powerful apostles in Berserk, if not actually the most powerful so far. Ganishka's apostle form sounds like a giant cloud. One of the most interesting thing about Emperor Ganishka is that he turns size against the god hand, which every apostle serves. Ganishka requested gods if he wants to join his side to take down the god hand together. However, gods refused to join him. After that, Gats and Zad teamed up together to take down Ganishka. Irvine Irvine is an apostle who serves together with Zod, Locus, Grimble, and Rakshas under the reborn Griffith in his band of the Falcon as Captain of the Arches. Irvine is a quiet man that primarily keeps to himself. He is committed to performing his role as a captain and is shown to take battles very seriously, carrying out orders quickly and efficiently at a moment's notice. Aside from this, he doesn't show much concern for other matters relating to the band of the falcon, preferring to distance himself from the other apostles when given leisure time. In his apostle form, his slender figure is joined to a wolf-like creature that appears to be a metamorphosis of his bow. Locus, the Moonlight Knight, is an undefeated knight in the joystick. He is very proud to serve anyone until he swore his loyalty to the reborn Griffith and the band of the Falcon. Locus seems to be a very calm man, shifting to a focused state of mind in battles. Locus also displays a sense of wisdom that is rare among apostles, as he is able to see his advantage of capturing enemy troops and repurposing them as a part of Griffith's army. In his apostle form, he fused with his mount and armor to become a metallic center. Grinbold. Grinbold, the great flame dragon, is also one of the most powerful apostles. He is the leader of the giants. Before he joined the Falcons, he became famous during the 100 year war, holding a small northern country alone against 3,000 enemies. Grimble seems to be a very different character from most of the other apostles and characters in Berserk. He is a very honorable and proud warrior, unlike the other apostles, and he talks more akin to an old warrior than a sadistic demon. Even as an apostle, he still has some honor within him, for example, at the mansion of the spirit tree. He questioned the orders given to him, telling God that it's not honorable to attack an old woman with so many troops. In his apostle form, Grimble is a great four-legged fire dragon covered with a stalactites made of crondom, his face being shielded by a layer of crystal. Zod Zod the Amoral is a legendary sword master and recurring anti-villain throughout the story. Zod is a powerful apostle who travels from battlefield to another, seeking stronger opponents. 
Zod is a fearless apostle who has developed his existence to combat, whose urge to fight stronger opponents and relish in the fight has left mountains of the dead in his wake. He is ferocious and does not show mercy even when an opponent is clearly outmatched. Above all, he seeks a challenge. Despite his keenness for battle, Locus has stated that Zod was a man of a great depth. Unlike most apostles, he does not eat human flesh, neither is he a sadistic nor coral, nor does he enjoy turning humans or having to kill weaklings. In his apostle form, Zod becomes a behemoth-like beast and can sprout wings to take flight. After his confrontation vision with Griffith, Zod loses one of his horns, which reflects as a scar on his human's form forehead. Zod serves as the rival of both gods and school knight. Zod admires and respects gods for being such a powerful warrior. He fought gods not once but twice. Zod says in his third fight with gods, it will be a fight to death. So in the final battle between Zod and gods, it will be a death battle, one of them will die. So gods might finally kill Zod with the berserker armor transformation.